ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Monday. It has been a long weekend for me. I spent the whole weekend editing this deep dive video. So I wasn't able to do a video on this whole Kanye nonsense on Sunday because I had to focus on my deep dive. So what's going down is this. If you guys don't know, Kanye West decided to go on a rant yesterday and basically posted a series of videos coming at Kim Kardashian. And he's stating that Kim is alienating him from their daughter and from the other children as well. But particularly their eight-year-old daughter northwest he's very upset that kim is continuing to allow her to be on tiktok so this is what he posted he says north wasn't allowed to go to down to two or to dove's basketball game now the kids are not allowed to go to sunday service then he also went on to state no tiktok and then he says saying a prayer that my children can come to sunday service so i'm going to go ahead and play you guys these videos y'all go ahead and check them out so when we had the Donda 2 release in Miami, I got a flight for all my kids to come from Calabasas to come in Miami to see the kids. Then an uh, assistant uh, hit me and said, all the kids, you know, the, they said the kids are there. When the plane took off, I got a text from Kim that said, uh, North won't be on the plane. You see, this is the kind of stuff that's just like the Chicago birthday party. And I'm glad that y'all saw in the variety piece what I have to deal with. Here go another thing. The Doves high school basketball game. We hold one in California. My my daughter loves basketball. I want her to see the league that her father is starting. North can't go to that game. Now we got Sunday service this morning, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. And it's North had a sleepover, so she can't come to Sunday service. I moved the Sunday service up to 10 a.m., so that I can go to Saints soccer game at 1230. Move the entire thing. All right, so you guys just watched that video of Kanye West once again, you know, ranting and raving. Then he went on to post a text message that somebody sent him. It does not say who sent it to him, but the person says this. They're trying to use North against you. They know that's your only trigger. They aren't using the other kids because they aren't old enough and are pretty much babies. Saint on TikTok wouldn't trigger you as much because he's your son. Our sons have us in them. North and Shy pull your heartstrings the most because they are delicate children. They're girls. And we are protectors due to our knowledge of women being abused in this world. So that's what that person was saying. And so basically Kanye is trying to use that as a way to reiterate what he has to say about the situation. Then he ends up coming back on camera again for about three minutes and he captions it, God got this. So y'all go ahead and watch this. We as men in that community have no say so of where our kids go to school. I'll see if Trav does, but Tristan, uh, uh, I know I hadn't had a say so. I didn't want my kids to go to Sierra Canyon. And so when y'all talk about this, are they going to use mental health for the custody? I don't have custody. I had to fight to have my kids not on TikTok. It had been a fight for where my kids go to school and we started our own school. It's always been a gang. You understand? It's like there's we've never had Christmas any place else other than one location for the entire time. And we understand that. But I want y'all to know, like, yo, this has been 20 years I've been contributing my thoughts, ideas, perspectives. Y'all agree with me sometimes, y'all don't agree with me, but y'all got someone that can talk to you that's not being controlled by a management conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time Jay Brown blatantly said, yo, you're, you're crazy, right? But was I crazy when you tried to get 15% of Yeezy for Rock Nation for no reason and I told you no? Was I crazy then? You see, sometimes, you know, it's just like how people in, in Hollywood, they'll bully you for not being a part of exactly what they want, for not voting for Hillary, for not. You, you, just God, I know that people are going to feel me and feel my heart just as a father. You know what I'm saying? Like just as a as a dad, you know, I, I look up and I wanted to come to 
Kim's defense in some way about the when when everyone's attacking her about the variety because that's just my heart as a dad my spirit is like just to protect at all costs and I just look at my daughter full makeup singing she's in love with an emo girl on TikTok and I have no say nor approval hey what do you think do you think this would be cool or not you know what I mean and I'm the one that made them cool but then I'm not asked what's cool for my actual children in America. Like, nah, man. And can't nobody on their side, my side, not Tracy Romulus that puts her kid next to my daughter to try to control her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been fired, Tracy Romulus. Not Ray Romulus, her husband won't say nothing. Like, no, bro, it's up. And the thing that you're not going to do is get me to do anything illegal or anything like your favorite word, erratic. That's why I'm talking to you directly. They wouldn't give me Chicago, the address of Chicago's birthday party so that could scar in her memory that dad wasn't there. When dad want to be there, y'all turn the idea. I mean, I was just at the house two days ago with my kids doing homework with Kim right there. Well, y'all running this narrative that somehow I'm this thing. I'm a dad. I have an opinion. I'm an American. I'm a Christian. I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm not controlled. So after that rant, he then shows another text message. And the text message says, when I say bring my kids somewhere, I'm not going through this no more. Why the fuck is it up to you where my kids are if we so-called have joint custody? Then he goes on to write... My dad won't even call Kim. I don't speak to most of my family because they've been allowing this kind of behavior. I am in no way trying to get this woman back. I've moved on with my life and I feel culturally there's a bunch of white privileged people forcing the upbringing of a bunch of black children. I seen a bunch of celebrities speak up against me, but ain't no one other than Candace Owens ever said that any of this bitter mama baby behavior is wrong. So, you know, at this point, he's upset. I find it very funny that he keeps calling his children who are clearly biracial black children. You know, it's funny now that they're black, but they've never been black this whole time since they've been born. They've always been half Armenian, half black and things like that. But again, he's definitely trying to push that whole race issue, you know, to make it seem like it's all these privileged white people against him and his black kids. But again, he sat with this privileged white family for years. And amongst a bunch of privileged white people. So why is it an issue now? So then, you know, after this, the story went viral. Everybody was talking about it. And Pete Davidson basically had enough. And um, one of his friends basically posted text messages between Pete Davidson and Kanye. So this is what the text message says. So he texts him at 8 o'clock in the morning. He says, yo, it's Skeet. Can we please take a second to calm down? It's 8 a.m. And it don't got to be like this. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing. You are so fucking lucky that she's your kid's mom. I decided I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm done being quiet. Grow the fuck up. Then Kanye replies and he says, oh, you using profanity? Where you at right now? And then he sends a picture and he says, in bed with your wife. Child. Kanye wasn't ready for that one, honey. Then he sends Kanye a full picture of him in bed. And he says, and then Kanye says, happy to see you're out of the hospital in rehab. Pete replies and he says, same here. It's wonders what those places do when you go get help. You should try it. I'm in LA for the day if you want to stop being a little internet bitch boy and talk. Then he says, you don't scare me, bro. Your actions are so pussy and embarrassing. It's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. Then Kanye says, you're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. Pete replies and he says, why don't we meet after Sunday service and Saints game? I'll be at the BHH, which is the Beverly Hills Hilton. Okay. We can have food and talk about it in my room privately, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. What you are doing to your family is dangerous and going to scar them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. Then Kanye says, you want to see me? Come to Sunday service. Then Pete says, this isn't public, dude. I'm not here for pictures and press, which is obviously what you care about. My offer stands. I wish you would man up for once in your life. Let me help you, man. I struggle with mental stuff, too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help. 
You'd be happy and at peace. You have no idea how nice I've been to you despite your actions towards me. I've stopped SNL from talking about you or making fun of you, which they wanted to do for months. I've stopped stand-up comedians from doing bits about you because I don't want the father of my girl's kid to look bad out there. I have had your back even though you treat me like shit because I want everything to be smooth. But if you continue to press me like you've been doing for the past six months, I'm going to stop being nice. Honey, Pete Davidson was not here for the foolishness and he basically checked Kanye like enough is enough. You've been blasting me, disrespecting me, calling me skeet, you know, doing all this childish shit. So now I'm going to step to you man to man via text message. OK, and, you know, we can handle it that way. And obviously, Kanye really didn't want the smoke. He didn't really say too much back. But I do find it very contrived that, you know, Pete Davidson happened to send these text messages to a friend who happened to post them on social media. So now if that wasn't bad enough for Kanye. He then went on another rant. And basically in this rant, he's upset because he feels like he does not have a say in what school his kids go to. He's talking about how, you know, men don't have control of their families once they go through a divorce and how basically the father's kept out. So he goes on a rant about this situation. I want y'all to watch this right now. Hey, everybody. I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're gonna use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether or not they went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50-50 custody with, with, in society today. That's not, that's not even, it always leans towards the mom. But right now, and I'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what I dealt with. You understand what I'm saying? So I called different people I knew and the best advice I got right now was from Tory Lanez and he just said to pray and ask for God to speak through me. You know, I got four children and there's so many people who don't have a voice and have the opportunity to be able to speak up and just God, if it is in your will, you know, touch the people that are currently watching my children, whatever sleepovers at, wherever they are at, the various nannies that watch all the, the children um, and, and touch them and say, please bring my children to Sunday service this morning at 10 a.m. You know, God, just it's this is out of my hands. It's up to you. This whole conversation, this whole narrative, gaslighting, you know, all of this. It's like right now, this is up to you. I thank you for putting me in a position to be able to make Sunday service and put this online and have my family you know, be there, if my children be there to, to hear about God, to sing about God, to sing about Jesus Christ, for us to be able to have the, the, the first right, the freedom of speech in America to still talk about God out loud. This morning, God, please, you know, there's no reason why these young children upon their father's re request shouldn't be allowed to come to Sunday service. At this point, it's, it's, it's going too far. God, please. The boyfriend texts me and agonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought, I thought it publicly for a year and a half has been, I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have her last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching? my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife and and i thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since i got the uh you know i got the lawyer to finally 
finish the divorce because every time I finish this show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping her last night. Every time I do something positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce? I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God, I just need to protect my ch You protect the children. You ch I know our nannies, some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, today and have them bring my children to Sunday service this morning. The devil ain't going to win. You get what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Kim gets black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of, Hillary. You understand the setup right here? You understand the narrative right here? God, please, in your son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please make sure my kids come to Sunday service. Please. Amen. So now if that's not bad enough, he then decided to come onto the internet and basically speak against D.L. Hughley. If you guys remember, I had posted a video like a week or so ago. <clears throat> where D.L. Hughley was talking about the situation with Kanye, and he was saying that if that was his daughter, he would not allow he would not allow that to fly, and he did not respect what Kanye was doing. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Woman it's never online. been fun. It's never been fun. That's not from her house. Th listen, I don't. I think that I've watched too many times when things like that happen, and a woman or somebody's not believed. And then things escalate. Yeah. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. I don't mm. think it's funny. I think that you can't write a beat so good that you get to do these things. And society laughs it off because they say, well, she showed her ass all the time. And he's this and he's that. And that. At a certain point, it def it is not unusual for men like that. The, only, the only difference between him and a restraining order is about 20 hits and a couple of hundred million dollars. I just don't think it's funny. I think that 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 Kanye wouldn't get no pussy at all if he didn't write no hits. You know that. Like he's not the kind of dude. You don't <laughs> like he counts on the shit, he, this mystique. Right. And in the end, she got just as much bread as she as she is. Yeah. And why talk to him? Pete Davidson is a scribe. Like I don't get what the point is of threatening him. Like if if you if you threatening to do this your woman, all they gonna do is her harder. So then Kanye West writes, what? DL lives in Calabasas. Yo, God is good. Then he says, we're going to stop letting practicing drug addicts be used by leftists to Willie Lynch our future. Black people with our own opinions are not allowed to speak in public. I am the glitch, DL. God does not like you. You have no favor. Your family hates you. I would hate to be related to somebody who used to be famous. Now you just known as a broke pawn. At least Oprah got billions, allegedly. Come on, leftists. You got to do better than DL. This yay. Bring the real smoke, baby. Show your real face. Charlemagne just don't hit the same, do he? Who y'all gonna get now? God is with us. You send DL to be against us. You've lost. No brilliant Hebrew will bow to y'all no more. Only dumb ass drug addict house niggas. Don't play me and don't play with God. Anybody related to DL call Chris McLean at Adidas for Yeezys. They're not free though. We're running a business over here. He's just getting you ran. You see Skeet missing work. Anybody else want to play with me? Please, 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 for the love of God, come and get me. Let's see how that turns out. Then he says, I told y'all before about this TikTok stuff. Now my eight-year-old is on here singing. She fell in love with an emo girl. Leftists don't want fathers to have no say in children's lives. I don't want my kids at godless Sierra Canyon school. I got a voice and I'm not having this. And Perez Hilton, you still ain't answer my question and never put my name next to the word abuse. Don't play with my name like that. I'm a real person who wants the best for my children. And D.L. Hughley is a pawn. Yeah, I know King not supposed to address a pawn, but I address everything I find and I address DL. So don't speak on me or my children. I can afford to hurt you. So child, Kanye was on a rant Sunday. So after that, Van Lathan took to the internet. I don't know why, but he said that he just spoke to DL this morning and he doesn't think threats to his family or professional slander are funny and is going to deal with them accordingly. He told me he will be making a statement very soon. So now about 30 minutes later, D.L. Hughley ran to the internet and this is what he had to say. 
He says, hmm, ain't it weird that Kanye supposedly has all these goons who will kill for him, but not one of them will get his prescription filled. Here's a thought. While you're on your way to kill me in Calabasas, how about somebody drop by CVS and pick up his Xanax? Laugh out loud. Team DL. Then he goes on to say, ain't no way in hell I'd ever be scared of a dude who wears I know what you did last summer boots. Hashtag Team DL. Then he also goes on to say, Kanye, it's just too bad that you acting like a nut won't stop Pete from busting one. Team DL. Child, when I tell you DL did not come to play, honey. He was like, you want the smoke, Kanye? I'm going to give you the smoke. One thing you don't do is come out there a comedian because they will roast you for your life, okay? This whole situation is a hot mess. I wish Kanye would literally get it together and stop bringing all this foolishness to the internet. It doesn't look good at all. While you were there in the household and raising these children with Kim, because y'all have been together for years, why was why were not certain things set in place? Like, you know, he's saying that he has no control. He has no say so. Well, yeah, now that you're out of the house. But when you guys were in this union raising these kids together, was your say so not validated? Were you not listened to? You know, that's the part that doesn't make any sense is that, you know, you want to be the head of the household. Were you acting like the head of the household or, or were you running around and living, you know, here and living there while she had to step up and be the head of the household and raise these children? You know, so this whole situation is a hot damn mess. It's officially turned into a Dragon Ball T series and I'm here for it, bitch. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Kanye West, honey, beefing with Kim Kardashian once again. Now beefing with Pete Davidson and now beefing with D.L. Hughley. When I tell you Sunday was a busy, drama-filled fun fest on damn social media, you had to be there. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video as well. Once again, thank you guys for your support. And make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.